Born in 1983, accordionist, fiddler, singer, and composer Cédric Watson grew up in San Felipe, Texas, surrounded by the sounds of blues, old soul, country, and zydeco. Preferring to join the Creole nation rather than the hip-hop nation, he moved to Lafayette, Louisiana to immerse himself in the music. As he puts it, I want to present the Creole nation of Louisiana to the Creole nations in other parts of the world to make these Creole cultures aware of the one in Louisiana and vice versa. Canapé listens to the man and the music. My name is Cédric Watson, and I am a musician Creole who comes from Lafayette. All of a sudden, I fell in love with the fiddle through uh, Cajun music. By the time I was about 18 years old, I got me a fiddle because I always wanted a fiddle, but my grandma couldn't afford one. So I found this like guitar and that was like cheap. And she got it for me and told me that if I learned how to play guitar first, then it would like open up the door for the fiddle. And um, whenever I got it, I remember that day, you know, because I like went running down the road. I went to the post office like, did it come yet? She's like. Yeah, here it is, and there's a big box, you know, and it's shaped like a little guitar or something. When I opened it, I had a fiddle. So I took it home, and I was just ready to go. So I took the bow, started scratching on the strings, but it didn't make any sound at all, because I didn't know that you were supposed to sap it up with that rosin, you know? So I started playing, listening to the uh, French music that I was already kind of familiar with, you know? And that's what got me, uh, that's how I learned it faster, because I spent, you know, years listening to it before I ever tried to play it. The, the accordion came around through um, Germans. They brought that. And then at first it was all fiddles. And it was like um, guitars, you know, and um, cellos and banjos and stuff like that. Pots and pans and triangles. Well, when the accordion came into the picture, it was so loud that it could be heard like all over because at first they didn't have electricity. Everybody would move all the furniture out of the house and they'll dance around in the house and they invite their friends over. They'll give a little money, put it in a uh, musician's hat, you know, pass it around. And that was called a house dance in Bal de Maison. So the fiddle was kind of drowned out a little bit. It was kind of just there to back up the accordion after a while. But the, th the thing is, the accordion only has, the, well, the small 10 button accordion known as the Cajun accordion or the melodeon. It only has uh, 10 buttons, but there's only seven notes that keep repeating themselves. So you're limited, whereas with a fiddle, you can go wherever you want and do whatever you want to do. I, th I think it's very important to speak French, especially down there, because the thing that's really endangered is the Louisiana Cajun and Creole French. That's what's endangered. Some of us speak more on the Creole side or Cajun side, or some of us speak more um, uh, standard, depending on where you learn. Me, I started off learning Creole, so words like je and stuff like that doesn't exist in Creole. It's more. You don't say things like uh, je vais à la boutique and all that. You say mon à la boutique. It's just a different, you know, and it has a uh, different role to it. So it's like, really, we all just getting together and speaking so much together that we're learning from each other, like whatever that person says, and maybe, you know, we all use these different words. And I think after a while, it becomes like we all have our social little like dialect, you know, that we, that's what we use whenever we speak French. We all have this understanding. We have these parties where we all speak nothing but French, so we can keep on keeping that up, you know? And, um, we move everything to the side, kind of like, and we have big jams, and everybody dance around the house or on the porch, you know, and that's kind of like a bal de maison d'aujourd'hui. There's a uh, one song on there called Buki. And uh, I wrote that because in Louisiana, there's this folk tale that exists that's uh, it's about this, um, this critter named Buki, he's a predator, and Lapin, Lapin's a rabbit. Well, um, Lapin's always smarting out Buki, you know, he tricks him and gets him to do some crazy stuff so that he can get the benefit and run off and Buki gets caught. That was a story that was brought over from Africa. Buki was a hyena in Africa, and Lapin was, of course, a you know, rabbit. 
Well, what happened is, and then I remember growing up, you know, you have cousins and neighbors named Buki. You know, that's like their nickname. So it's like, that's where that word's from. And I found out and it all made sense. So I was like, you know what? I'm recording this song and I'm gonna spread the word. So it's cool how like, through all that, like what happened, you know, with the slaves and stuff, all the bad, you know, crossing over the water, stories like that, and all these rich things that they carry with them. And to this day, like we still cook a lot of the same food, like gumbo, all these things. Well, you have folk tales like Buki, and there's no telling how many other ones exist. Yeah. Louisiana has reputation for really the South does has a reputation for like you know times being hard and the sun burning down on you working in the fields and going back home and it's like when all the work's over whenever whenever the whole week was over this was the only time that they could really get together with their friends and uh, socialize and dance and forget about all the bull crap. You know, this, is, this was one of the only times they could do that. And if you notice, in most parts of the world where people have the hardest lives, that's where the best music comes from. So uh, that's just the way I see it. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for two. 